Most people think that if you want to find a job in AI, you would need to learn how to train a model. I don't think so. I think that going forward, most of the jobs in AI would revolve around how to serve models at scale and there are various technologies which you need to learn for that. If you are a regular member of this channel, you know that I have been covering those technologies in most of the videos these days. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to serve multiple models in production at scale by using NVIDIA's Triton inference server. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and most importantly, please become a member as that helps a lot. So what exactly is this Triton inference server? Even before that, let me show you something very cool. So this is a Grafana dashboard from one of my production Triton server where I am serving multiple models. You see, in this dashboard, I have this 5.4 model. If I click here, this is my sent sentiment model, which is a distal model from Hugging Face. And this dashboard is showing you various matrices, which really doesn't, uh, which really don't matter this time. What matters is that we have multiple models running with Triton, as you can see here, on single server, single Kubernetes cluster. And this is what I'm going to show you how you can serve these models too. Now you know what we are going to do. First, let's try to unpack what is this Triton inference server. It is a high performance open source inference platform designed to simplify and standardize the deployment of AI models at scale. It is a universal inference server which works with any runtime, any backend, whether it is CPU or GPU, it is going to work on that. It allows you to serve models built with frameworks like PyTorch from Meta, TensorFlow from Google, Pedal Pedal from Baidu, or if you want to have ONNX runtime, TensorRT runtime, VLLM, backend engine, you can do that too, all from a single server at the same time. There are various other features around batching and stuff, but I will make other videos on it. One of its most powerful feature is multi-model serving. Triton can host and manage multiple models simultaneously, each with different versions, backends or hardware targets. So in this dashboard, this sentiment model is running on CPU, whereas this 5.4 model is running on a GPU. Models are organized in a repo file because I'm using AWS EKS. So I have put that repo in S3 bucket and I'll show you shortly. So this is the whole thing which I'm going to show you. Now I already have Triton installed, AWS EKS cluster installed and everything running. I have done another video on it, just search on the channel. Let me now show you how you can serve multiple models here. So first up, let me take you here. This is where my Triton server is running in a pod, which is of course um, abstracted into deployment, which is abstracted into service and then ingress. That is Kubernetes lingo. Don't worry about it if you don't want to know about it because you can serve models, you know, other than Kubernetes too. But anyway, this is my Triton server, which is running. First step is that let's specify the 5.4 model. So what we need to do, we need to just create a local folder on our system wherever we are running it. From there, I'm simply creating this directory structure. I'm calling it 54 underscore model and then numeric number one. So for example, 54 model could have multiple versions. So you can just do, do one, two, three, four, whatever. And then we need to create this model file. Now, what this model file is, this model file contains the actual inference logic implemented through Triton's Python backend. So it defines how inputs are processed, how the model is loaded and executed, and how outputs are returned. So for example, you see that I have just, I'm using VLLM as my backend engine. You can use TensorRT or whatever. This is where I am running this execute function. This is, this executes inference. 
I'm just going down. There are multiple functions. This is a standard and you can see this is generate function for generating the output. So this is for inference and that's the hyperparameters I am specifying. Now, if I just scroll down, another file which is very important is this config file. This config file specifies the model's interface. It's, for example, what input you want, output you want from model, batch size, and hardware placement. So, for example, I just want to give input as a string. Output should be uh, this specifies max token, and this will be the data type. These are the hyperparameters temperature and output. And I want to place it on a GPU and only one GPU. I can also specify on multi GPUs. And then I am uploading it to my S3 bucket. And make sure that you keep this structure because that is how Triton learns which models are there. And once you have uploaded to your S3 bucket, and then you do ls on that S3 bucket, and it shows you that okay, 54 mod, uh, 54 model. One, this is the model.py file which I uh, referenced earlier that contains the actual inference logic. And once that's done, this is our config file which primarily specifies the model's interface. And you can notice that config file is on the root of this 54 model, whereas the model.py is within uh, this one because we can have multiple versions of the model, so two, three, four, and every model would have a different model.py file so this is step one in the next step i am going to create another model the distilled model which is sim simply doing sentiment analysis again i am importing those libraries i am not specifying any vllm or anything i'm just putting it on cpu so again this model.py file remains the same again execute function which does entrance and stuff and this is our config file where we are specifying this is our input this is our output and i want to put it on cpu and again i'm uploading it in the same format now the model name is sentiment model this is the first version i have put in the model.py and then from there this is what it should look like once it's done so both models are done and of course you can have as many models as you want depending of course on uh, hardware infrastructure. Now, this is a step three where we are actually deploying that right on with both models, which I already have deployed here, as you can see. And it is a simple Kubernetes manifest file. And you see that we are just treating it as a deployment. We are defining a pod running the official uh, NVIDIA's VLLM uh, image and then we are also putting it some of the ports we are exposing them because um, for the telemetry you can have you can access it through http you can access it through grpc these are the matrix for telemetry then we are specifying some resource and limits typical kubernetes structure and then we are putting a service on top of that deployment and these are the ports which we are exposing outside so once we run this deployment, what happens behind the scene is Triton automatically loads both models from the S3 bucket and places the text generator, in our case 5.4 on GPU, and the sentiment analyzer, distilled one, on CPU. And you can have concurrent inference from different clients. And you see that this is a Grafana dashboard. Behind the scene, there is Prometheus and a DCGM, the NVIDIA DCGM, which is data center GPU manager, which gives you low level matrices around what, what is happening behind the scene at different layers. And you can visualize activity in real time where you can confirm successful multimodal serving on a unified Triton deployment. So this is all there is to it, where you have a production grade, highly scalable, fault tolerant, Kubernetes powered Triton server, which you can scale, which you can change, which you can alter and serve the models. And this is what you need to learn if you want to serve the model internally to a huge user base or externally at a global scale. There are a lot of other things involved too, of course, but this is uh, what makes you stand separate from the crowd.
check it out let me know what do you think if you like it please let me know if you need the code please become a member and send me an email if you have watched this recently happy to send over the code that's it please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot thank you for all the support